Hello everyone, this is Mr. Amazing, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get this really cool shadow transition type effect in Premiere Pro. So, let's get right into it. So what you're going to want to do is take your two clips, I just have two sample clips right here, and you're going to want to create a adjustment layer. Drag this on, and of course figure out how long you want the transition to be. I am going to make this a four second long transition. So to do that, I am going to go two seconds back from where I want the cut to happen, and then two seconds forward from where I want the cut to happen. And duplicate this adjustment layer uh, two more times. The first thing we're going to do is cut the first two of these adjustment layers. Then you're going to come over to effects. You're going to type in dip to black. And you're going to extend that out for the entirety of the adjustment. Next, what you're going to want to do is come to crop. And what you're going to do with this is actually create the wipe that makes this really look like a shadowy transition. So start at the beginning, make one keyframe, go to where the cut is, and then set this to 100. What that's going to do is begin the wipe. Now, go to right, in this case, go back one keyframe, keyframe that again, keyframe the left again, go over, set this what was 100 to 0, and set this right, which was at 0, to 100. Now come back over here to the end of the transition, set it to 0. Now, that looks a little bit stiff, so what we can do is turn the edge feather up. I usually like it to go to about a thousand. And with that, we get something like that. Now, to me, that's a little bit boring, and that's why we have this third adjustment layer here. What we're going to do with this is type in transform, and we're going to add that to the both of these. We're going to go into Effect Controls, and what we're going to do is we're going to make it look like this wipe is actually dragging these two clips along here. And we're going to do that by adding a position keyframe. So, I kind of want this to get dragged over to, say, there. And you can see we're getting a bit of black here, so I'm going to fix that by scaling this up as well. well let's take this to 110. Let's see how that looks. So still getting a bit of black, so I'm actually going to reset this, bring it closer to 1,000. And that looks good to me. Actually, I'm going to make this more like that. So once you have your parameters customized to your liking for the first adjustment layer, we're going to come to the second adjustment layer and do the exact reverse. So I had the scale end at 115. So I'm going to make this one start at 115 and end at 100. I'm also going to drag this uh, position to the left and then have it reset. So now we have this. Again, now the keyframes look a little bit stiff. So what we can do is come to the start keyframes here on the first adjustment layer and go to ease in go to the end keyframes on the second adjustment layer, go to ease out, and now we have this. That still might look a little bit stiff to you, so if you want, you can come in and drag these Bezier curves to your liking. Now to finish this off, what you can do is take a piece of stock footage, I got this one from cutestockfootage.com, completely free, and you can set this to screen, and take a cross dissolve, and add it to both ends of the clip.
And what that's going to do is really, I think, tie the whole transition together. Now, this might be a bit much, so I might want to turn down the opacity on that. But there you have it. A really nice, simple shadow transition with a little bit of bokeh light leak going on, which really brings everything together. Now, what you can also do is, if you think this uh, crop effect is a little bit boring, you can do something completely different with this. You can come to graphics and create a new ellipse. Set it to black. Make it as close to a circle as you can get. Scale it up to your liking. Uh, set the anchor point in the middle. Now I'm going to set this to about here. And since we already have these keyframes coming from uh, left to right on this adjustment layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down here. I'm going to set the position to go from there all the way up to here. And again, this looks a little bit stiff. So what I'm going to do with this is add a Gaussian blur to it. I'm going to crank that up a lot. And then have the uh, repeat edge pixels set. And now you're going to get something like this. And it looks good, but you're going to notice you're getting this kind of harsh edge effect going on here. So to fix that, what I come to is the blend mode, and I set this to darken. And that pretty much fixes that right up. So now what you have is kind of like a reverse spotlight effect going on. And again, if we turn back the... Uh, bokeh. We again have something like that, and that is basically the entire effect. But say you don't want to have to do all that manual labor. Maybe you just want all of those effects automated. Well, do I have the solution for you? In an effort to save all of you in my audience time, I have actually created an entire set of these transitions with a lot of really cool different parameters to them. So it really is as simple as just going into one of these sequences here previewing it to see if you like it or not, clicking through everything you want, selecting it and copying it, and pasting it right into your sequence. So I'm going to delete these old files here. And you're going to get something like this. If this is something you're interested in, you can get all 23 of these transitions at my Selfie, found in the link in the description below, or at selfie.com slash Amazing. And with that, I'll leave you with a list of my favorite free stock video and photo websites. This has been Mr. Amazing. Thanks for watching.